Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Sin and Sass Survival Guide. Once again, my guys creeping out. I'm Sin here with... My, my guy's having some fun there. I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't help it. You're attractive. You're attractive, but, you know, it's not my fault. You're doing it. So anyway, guys, we are... We're back at home, and uh, as a little recap on what we whoa! Well, <laughs> I didn't shoot you. <laughs> Trying to. Um, there's a bug randomly where your weapon will discharge, just like it just did there. I did not left click at all. I just turned and it shot. But yeah, so that's like the third time that's happened to me. But so a recap on basically what we've covered so far. We've covered the basics of building a uh, stone axe, stone shovel, your first bow, and your first armor. Yeah, that's right guys. Also the legendary 44 Magnum is apparently not so legendary anymore. It is pretty easy to get. Like, uh, as you see right here, we got 44 Magnum parts. I'm gonna go ahead and move that over. We got a lot of gun parts. There's two 44 Magnum frames. Two 44 Magnum parts, one of them being completely flawless. A 44 Magnum cylinder, flawless and a 44 magnum grip flawless that is all of the parts to the 44 magnum we just don't have the book to make it just yet so we can't make the 44 magnum yet but soon enough we will have it all and we got pretty much most of the shotgun parts as well actually i think we can make a shotgun we <laughs> Yeah, we do have the uh, shotgun receiver, the shotgun pump, and the barrel. All we need to do is make the stock, which I think is made with just planks. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so, we've covered the basics of starting out. I did not cover how to make a campfire, but that's pretty simple. And that's one of the uh, first few things that you want to do as well. You want to make sure to have a campfire to cook on and have a water source nearby and fill up any jars that you got with the water. And if you get uh, cooking pots from looting houses, more than likely, they're the easiest to find in the houses. So what would happen if I shot you in the leg? You would damage me and I would have to shoot you back. And that eliminates the whole purpose of a survival guide. No shooting. You don't waste bandages when it's on day five already. Because the day seven horde. By the way, guys, the uh, yeah, the the day seven horde actually spawns on day seven now. So be wary. Okay, so last time we made this iron ingot mold. We're gonna put that to use right here. Nah, I totally spaced out on what I was going to, I think it was a shotgun stock, but, yeah. And she's going to fill up the water bottles, and we're going to test and see... From the toilet, yeah. <laughs> From the toilet, yes. And so, uh... Yeah. We're going to test a bug that we had before where if somebody else looked into the cooking campfire or forge, it would delete everything inside of it. So we're going to test that and see if it still exists. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's also why you can just cook it on a stick. 
Okay, it's not letting me post this in here. What? Guys, I can't put this iron in this... Can't... What? What's going on? There we go. So, it looks like we're going to be able to make three ingots. Alright, there we go. That's enough to make a garden hoe and a fire axe. I say those. Why is there a random bow on the ground? Ooh, one of those zombies exploded one of the gore blocks. Heard that. Oh, that's why there's a bow on the ground. Completely destroyed. By the way, guys, I don't think you can repair bows. Yeah, there's no way to actually repair the bows, so once they're destroyed, they're broke. And you have to completely remake it. Alrighty, how many stuff is in there? Uh, nope, I still see it in there. So, it looks like that bug is fixed, thankfully. So, yeah. I don't know, but he, he like, blew up a core block. I'll take care of it. If her cat ever gets out of my way. Just get this. So there's a lot of them there. He's got this big old fluffy gray cat. He's always getting in my way. He thinks he should stand in front of my screen. I'm gonna let him in. Ah, oh, he can't get in. That's hilarious. Yeah, they're zombies. Oh, come on. That, that's gotta kill him. I just took away his manhood. Sorry guys, I am lagging. Pretty bad here. I'm gonna try to hit his head, I sure can't. Ah, oh, he's standing on the gore block outside there. But we're gonna have to break that gore block, otherwise we're gonna have three of them blocking the doorway. The stands right now, they won't try to actually get in, thankfully. And so, I'll take her out, if she don't beat me to it. Alright. She's down. I see a guy on the road, I'm gonna take him out. Hopefully he's not a survivor, because, I mean, if he is, well, it's, uh, that's a little too bad. Yeah, I'm out of ammo. I got two shots. They're gonna start running, get inside. They're gonna wanna be inside quick. I'll try to take out one more. And then we're just going to leave them to their own devices over the night course. And hopefully they don't break down our door again. They actually broke this front door down once. Yeah. 
Yep. Also, guys, there's a new jumping animation when you jump over something like that little shelf there. Your character actually slides their legs across it like they're uh, parkouring it. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, they're probably gonna bash on the door a little bit, but they should forget us if we don't make noise. Alright, so it just did that glitch again where it fired off, and that wasted my last bullet. So, alright, so I made this hatch in the last video, I think. It might have been this one, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to go install that up top there. Make sure nothing's going to crawl down the ladders. Zombies can climb down ladders now, so be wary. They are able to climb ladders and go back down them. So we're going to have a fire axe first and then we're going to uh, get the gardening hoe. And the reason for this is because we need a uh, steady food supply, like, almost immediately. Especially with towns being as rare as they are right now. We haven't actually found a town, so... One of those things that you want to do is you want to make a campfire. Once you've got the cooking pot, uh, and you can find some corn and potato seeds, you can make the corn and potato seeds, mix it with water, and it'll make vegetable stew, which is a pretty good supply of food at the beginning. So as you see, oh, what? it must have ran out. Okay, I will drop another plank in there to get the third ingot. Ah, uh, it's both of us. Yeah. I'm going to get this last ingot here. You're probably being seen because you're standing in the window there. Yeah, they're down there on the porch. So they're out of our sight. They're probably blocked by that gore block, which means they probably won't attack it, which is weird because they usually attack everything that blocks a door. Uh, is this thing gonna work? Yeah, more than likely. Is this forge bugging out on me? What's up with this? It's like taking the uh, stuff, but it's not cooking the ore. The scrap metal. What? What's going on? Maybe I can't watch it. Either way, I now have the uh, stuff to make an axe. If I can remember how to. Yeah, I don't have the stuff to make a uh, uh, thing yet. Need more wood to start building a wall around this place, and this axe is probably not going to do very well. It is a uh, 69 quality faulty fire axe. Also, guys, she found this really nice uh, iron armor chest piece for us last night. And so she gave that to me because it looked really bulky on her. <laughs> she didn't like it. But it is a fine iron chest armor. And it's pretty good, but uh, it could be improved. I also got shades and a uh, bandana now. And we're fully dressed in red.
Level 7 still with the default stamina. And we got a lot of weapons. So yeah, I guess while I'm waiting here, I will show you guys how to make sod. So that if you're still unable to uh, find a town that you can take and hold up in, sod is a good workaround for that. If I can actually select the right thing, I need to break all those down. We don't need them. Alright. They are apparently breaking our back door. I will empty my inventory off cam. Uh, do we have any grass? Not the smoking kind, guys. Yes, I'm sure about that. Okay, apparently there's 44 9 mil ammo in the uh, chest there, so I'm taking that. There's also six arrows. Oh, so I guess I'm not out of ammo. We just don't know how to look. Uh, yeah, they stopped running. Just be careful, because it's really foggy. Well, I think our forge is broke. Yeah, it's not going up. What is wrong with this? Alrighty. I will I will get them. I'm good, but I'm only good at range. That's alright, I guess bike club. It's all good. I'll take care of them. Repair it, I'll smack his head through the door. Yeah, I got him on me. I dropped him, pick him up. Can't reach her, guys. Melee range has been reduced. Alright, well at least this uh, weapon is pretty much a one-shot kill. Alright, so that should be good to uh, take him out. And the metal strips is used to repair your axe and your spiked club. If you do not have a spiked club and you cannot find one right away, I recommend using the iron reinforced club which is made beep 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 it does not like me <laughs> doing that clicking with the, the talk button on the alright so it's made with basically four sticks and four scrap iron and it's it's a decent starter weapon if you are finding yourself in need of a melee weapon and you don't have a bow yet 
if you can't make arrows and stuff it works pretty good and it'll take a couple hits to take them down but in the end it's actually pretty helpful and so the campfire is now in the cooking tab and as you can see right here it's just eight stones lined up in a circle like that or a square rather and it'll make a campfire but you need a uh, cooking pot to do that to make a cooking pot you actually have to have the forge and you craft the uh, iron ingots that I had down and the next stage down from that is forged iron which is this stuff and then you use it in the U pattern like you're making a mold but it'll make the uh, cooking pot and that's a good starter but if you don't have the cooking pot you can just drop, drop a stick into the uh, cooking ware tab and then put your meat in there well yeah look at the fog just it's all like Z Nation they're coming in with the uh, fog so uh, yeah guys that's basically how you start out your cooking and that will start out some things if you manage to kill some animals on the way you can just put their meat on a stick by putting the stick in the cookware thing and the meat in the other box and cook it cook it with uh, furniture or wood or if you run across a coal pile like she did the coal works as well and so yeah that's going to be it for episode 5 guys I will see you guys next time in episode 6 and I'm Sin and and we will see you guys next time till then keep alive keep sinful keep watching god dang it i said it backwards again i'm always saying it backwards but uh yeah so always leave a like guys it helps us out a lot and thank you guys for watching see you next time with episode six